Welcome back to Movie Plot Recap. Two brothers are coming to the scene at the beginning of the film. The elder brother's name is Bill who gives his younger brother a paper boat. Because outside it was raining. Bill's younger brother moves out to play in the rain, taking this paper boat. Then his paper boat goes into a drain flowing in the rain water. When that kid goes near the drain for searching his boat, the Pennywise real life clown first time comes before us. Pennywise clown calls that kid to take back his paper boat showing his trick. It bites the hand of that kid as he comes near him. That kid is missing after this incident. No one knows it, where has he gone? Everyone thinks as he has lost. After that a boy named Mike appears. He is in the sheep shelter who is asked to shoot a sheep. He is unable to do it. But taking it as a family business, it was necessary for him to do this. Then we observe the school students in the school. There is a girl named Beverly who is much teased by her class fellows. All kids are happy because of the starting of summer vacation. And there is also a lady who comes on the scene who was there to search for her missing daughter. There was also a boy named Henry who was rigid. And he used to tease Bill and the rest of his friends. There is also Beverly's bosom friend Ben. Returning home, Bill is scolded by his father because Bill used to think as his younger brother is still alive. Falling into the drain, he would have reached a sewer line passing through it. But his father explains, stop doing as such because his younger brother is no more. Because his mother will not feel good in this way. While delivering the meat, Mike notices a door where he feels something mysterious at the back side of it. That place is full of screaming and many hands appear behind the door. Suddenly, the door mysteriously opens and Mike encounters Pennywise Clown. Meanwhile, Henry comes there to tease Mike and leaves. One of Bill's friends goes to his father's office in order to keep the book where he sees the frightening painting of a lady. He is often afraid of it. It was Pennywise Clown who used to scare him. He takes the support of those things to scare everyone which were frightening for them. Bill is moving to the sewer line taking his friends. While Ben is writing poetry and reading the history of Derry Town, sitting in the library. It was actually the same place. He gets information, reading the history about all occurrences in Derry Town. Those incidents were relevant with the deaths of the people. It means, many people had died here. Then Ben begins to visualize the mysterious things which were being done by Pennywise Clown no other one. Ben observes there a flying balloon there which is not visible before others. Chasing the balloon, Ben finds many Easter eggs there. And he reaches in the library pursuing them. Then a burned headless man proceeds to attack Ben but he escapes. Henry and his friends catch him when he is escaping. They teach him much even Henry carves the alphabet H on his abdomen using a knife. Meanwhile, a couple passes that way in their car. Ben calls them for help but is ignored by them. Ben notices a red balloon in the car which indicates that a sitting couple in a car is captured by Pennywise Clown now. Anyhow, Ben flees from there rescuing his life. That mischievous group chase him. On the other side, Bill with his friend is searching for his younger brother at the sewer line of that city but he discovers the shoe of another child there. But injured Ben reaches there before they enter inside to search for the brother of Bill. One of Bill's friends enters the sewer line in order to search for Bill's younger brother. He encounters many phantoms and souls there. And he is killed by Pennywise Clown. Bill and his other friends are purchasing the bandages and other first aid kit items but they have low amount of money. Beverly is also in that medical store who helps them purchasing medicines. Then these friends offer Beverly to come with them to the tank. Reaching at home, Beverly's father behaves with her awkwardly as usual. Beverly used to be upset because of the behavior of his father. She is too depressed now and cuts her hair in depression. Then all friends and Beverly enjoy a lot at the tank. Then all friends move to Ben's house meeting together where they observe the history collection of Derry Town have been there. Ben says, the residents of this city have gone disappeared from this city one by one. But the strangest thing is this, no clue or the dead body of the lost people had been found. But there were the blood-stained clothes of the dead people near the well of that city. There was routine bloodshed. No one knew it, who is killing them. Then Bill's friend Addy is noticed who is returning to house. And he passes in front of an antiquated house on the way. And his time of taking medicine comes at the exact time. Stopping there, Addy begins to take his medicine. At the same time, some sounds coming from the house are heard by him. Addy is gone upset hearing these sounds. His medicine has fallen down in confusion. A disgusting, sick and plain looking man scares him when Addy is picking up his medicines. Scaring him, he is taking him towards that antiquated house. But Addy moves at the back side of that house in fear. And Addy encounters Pennywise Clown there and Addy escapes from there. Coming into the house, Beverly finds a poetry card. 
She goes to laboratory for reading. Then she hears the sounds of kids from the wash basin while reading the poetry. When Beverly puts measuring tape into the wash basin's drain hole, it is filled with blood and human hair are also stuck with it which wraps Beverly's body. They drag her towards the sink drain hole. Then a large amount of blood comes out speedily from the drain hole of sink filling the whole laboratory. Beverly is also wrapped in the blood. Beverly's father also reaches there after hearing the crying sounds of her, but he reacts as nothing has happened there. Bill realizes the presence of someone there while missing his younger brother, and he also notices the footsteps of someone there. Following those footsteps, he sees his younger brother who leads him to the basement. At first, Bill's young brother emotionally befools him and transformed into a Satan later. Pennywise is also arrived there who attacks Bill. But Bill escapes from there saving his life at the exact time. Then Beverly shows her laboratory to her friends calling them at her house. All kids also observe blood there. But Beverly thinks, why did her father not able to see it? They all clean laboratory together. Those friends discuss with one another, there is surely something wrong. Because some awkward happenings are also occurring with them. They also glimpse of that clown. Then they notice Henry's car and Mike's bicycle at a distance. They immediately leave to save the life of Mike. On the other side, Henry and his friends try to make Mike to eat the raw meat while beating him. Then Mike sees Pennywise at a distance who was eating the arm of a kid. He was also smirking looking at Mike. Reaching there, those friends begin to throw many stones on Henry and his friends while saving Mike. Then those friends were noticing the pamphlets of the missing children. Then Ben tells them, he has again read about Dairy Town. He reveals, I have known that such happenings continue in the Dairy Town after every 27 years. People are lost in such incidents, mostly children. It continues at the beginning years but later it stops. Then again it begins to happen after 27 years. They get an idea that there is someone who eats the kids catching them as he comes after 27 years. He is relaxed for 27 years after having a great hunting. They also know that he scares kids in that form which is scarier for them. It is obvious that almost all children are afraid from the clown. Taking all friends into his house, Ben shows them Dairy Town map. They come to know viewing the map that the location of these happenings is connected with the drainage system. And these all drains connect with one another at a place of well which was situated in that antiquated house. These children immediately understand that Pennywise resides in the old well of that antiquated house. Addy is more frightened knowing it. And he asks to switch off the projector which is later automatically displays the screen changing the scenes. Seeing it, all are horrified and confused. Then the screen also displays the photo of Bill's younger brother. Pennywise instantly appears in form of a photo and scares the children coming out from the screen. All children are got nervous. But Bill decides to visit Antiquated Well in order to face Pennywise. Agreeing with Bill, all kids follow him to that Antiquated House. Bill says, we should stop his activities facing him. Otherwise, this chain of missing people will continue. And one of them may be his next target and victim. Pennywise shows vision of something separating them as they enter the house. Addy is again fallen down from the upstairs after getting scared from that ghostly person and he is also wounded badly. One of Bill's friends Richie is locked in a room of many clowns and Pennywise also arrives there. Immediately, Bill saves Richie unlocking the door before any harm on the part of Pennywise. Then Pennywise moves to Addy. But Bill and Richie reach there before Pennywise may murder Addy horrifying him. And he attacks both of them. Then Beverly hits an iron rod on the head of Pennywise leaving him injured. In spite of this thing, he does not stop himself to horrify the kids. Horrifying, he wounds Ben with his big nails. But all kids were there together while Pennywise was wounded so he leaves without harming anyone. Bill notices him going into the well when he chases him. Then all children escape from that house saving their lives. Bill says to his friends, they will again go into the house with full preparation and face Pennywise bravely. But no one agrees with his plan except Beverly. They say, they will never enter there again. When Richie says that his brother is no more, as a result Bill's anger catches fire after hearing it and a quarrel is held between Richie and Bill. Those friends are separated. Beverly explains, it is the plan of Pennywise to separate all of you. Because he knows that unity will make them strong to face him. But no one agrees with her. On the other side, Henry notices a flying red balloon over the place letterbox near his house which was the indication of the presence of Pennywise. Opening that box, Henry finds a knife there. It was his knife which was lost in the forest while running after Ben. Henry has been totally possessed by Pennywise after holding the knife. Pennywise compels Henry to kill his father. 
Henry was being captured by Pennywise and he actually kills his father during his sleep. Beverly's father tries to seduce her in hostility. But she flees from there kicking her father and then locks herself into the lavatory. But Beverly's father enters the lavatory breaking its door. She hits the sink on the head of her father for her safety. Consequently, he loses his conscious getting injury. Further, Bill reaches Beverly's house while searching for her. Where he discovers Beverly's father's body and the written message of Pennywise on the wall. The written statement is, you die if you try. Bill informs all of his friends that Pennywise has taken Beverly with him. So they are united again in order to save the life of Beverly. Then they come back to that house with full preparation and weapons to face Pennywise. Moreover, Beverly restores her senses when a few drops of blood fall on her. She finds herself in a big drain and there is heap of garbage touching the roof. And there are also the flying dead bodies of children. Pennywise attacks her when she tries to escape from there. He frightens her but Beverly faces him bravely without any fear. Finding her strong, Pennywise shows her real look. And it was Pennywise's light which makes Beverly unconscious. All children go down to the well. But Mike is attacked by Henry when his turn comes to go down. He tries to kill him. But Mike throws him down to the well after fighting him. While coming down, one of their friends is separated from them. Here taking the appearance of that frightening lady of painting, Pennywise attacks him. The rest of the friends reach there to search for their friend before the severe harm of Pennywise, Pennywise leaves that place. Then Bill also glimpses his younger brother there. He reaches at the place of Beverly following him. Beverly is in the air in imbalanced position. And Bill tries to take her down then he goes to his younger brother. Reaching there, all friends take Beverly down. But Beverly was unconscious. They all try to restore her senses but of no avail. Then Ben embraces Beverly with affectionate feelings. As a result, Beverly is freed from the enchantment of Pennywise, coming into senses. Pennywise lures Bill disguising himself as his younger brother. And he offers him to come at home with him. Bill weeps hearing him and says, I know, you are not my brother. And he shoots him using his gun. Then Pennywise attacks them coming into his actual appearance. All kids face him, uniting themselves. But Pennywise captures Bill. Pennywise tells them, your fear will make my power stronger. He says, I will spare your lives if you leave Bill for me. And you may go now from here. I will also go for 27 years in order to have rest after victimizing Bill. And you may also return back to your routine life. Pennywise himself is trapped into his said words. And all kids face him, uniting themselves. Pennywise tries to frighten them taking the form of that thing which is scarier for them. But those kids remain determined. But Pennywise's fear is increased now. Because they had unity in facing him bravely. Even they had injured Pennywise while beating him. The unity of those kids compels Pennywise to accept his defeat. And being frightened, Pennywise leaves for 27 years in starvation. And the movie also completes here. Please like and share.